being the only pappy bear. The closest thing that he's got to size is pot-bellied pig that he thinks is his girlfriend. So he was very rambunctious with her. But he's great around everything else. We've got eight ferrets. He loves them. We've got eight cats. He loves the cats. We have two kittens that we got recently. And the yellow and white one stands on his back all the time. And when she does that, he'll flop over onto his side and let her just sit there and make biscuits on him. But when we first got him, he was still pretty nervous. Steve was only a few months old when I first met him at my vet's office. He was still so small that I could pick him up and hold him. He was pretty shy because he had come from a zoo setting. And while he was over there, he was living in the dog kennel. And so every time that I came over there, I would try to befriend him and feed him. And one day the vet just randomly messaged me and wanted to know if I would take over his care. And I said, duh. When we first brought him home, honestly, it took us three hours to convince him to come inside the house. But just by listening to him and respecting his shyness and his boundaries, he got really spoiled really fast. No more Cheetos. All the animals around here definitely keep him going. The ferrets, they get out every day and play, and the cat's running around all the time. He's got his pond and the 28 ducks, which he loves to chase because the pond was his first. And so they have to stand off to the side and just watch him while he swims. Are you proud of yourself for making a mess? He definitely believes he's the boss of the house. <laughs> it was 4.30 in the morning and he decided he wanted to be pet. And he's trying to nudge me out of the bed and whining very loudly to get what he wants. If you go to the fridge and get something and you're not quick enough, he'll give you a little nibble on your shirt or your thigh, whatever you can get to, to say, hey, I'm here and I want food. Are you done? Because they live in large groups in the wild. I do always feel bad for him that he's the only one. He had not been around another capybara since he was just a couple months old but we're doing the best that we can for him. <laughs> oh my God, Steve! <laughs> and I wouldn't trade having him for anything in the world. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible. It's time to watch more.